Welcome to my qualifying round at Greystone Golf Club for the 2023 Tennessee State Open. What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are here at Greystone in Dixon, Tennessee for the qualifier round for my State Open Championship 2023. Time to let it fly. First on the tee from Franklin, Zach Radford. Play well, guys. Well, the nerves definitely are pumping here on the first tee shot. Straight away par four. Iron off the tee should leave you kind of a wedge into the screen. This shot plays way downhill on the approach shot here on one. Going with gap wedge, and it's probably playing about 10 to 15 yards downhill. Well, that one flew a bit further than I'd like, but kind of got away with it, spun back. Got a birdie look here on the first. Hit a pretty good putt here, just didn't give it enough pace. Par through one, par through one, that doesn't even make sense, even par. Number two here, par five, pretty straight away. Well, but apparently oh, no. that's how we're starting this round doing? off. That was snip snappy and left and never had a chance. So uh, we are uh, having to take a drop. Sometimes you just got to hit a bad shot, get it out of the system. So this is a penalty. Then two clubs. That looked like it almost landed in the hole, spun back, just stayed out of the water, thankfully. So we've got a little work to do for our break. Not quite the lie I was looking for here. This was a really awkward lie. There was kind of a hole here with dirt and there was a little ramp there. I was kind of afraid that I might double hit this, but thankfully got that ball trundling up there and actually almost went in. Sometimes there's a thing as a good bogey, and that was one right there. Good little par three here. We saw it was a six there. 167, kind of back into the wind here. Probably going a little late. Turn. Turn. A little downhill putt here, breaking a little to our left. Let's just put a good roll on it. Absolutely love to see that ball trundle right on in for our first pin slammer Boom. of the qualifier. Par four here, number four, kind of bends a little to the right. We're gonna be teeing it high, letting it fly. Solid swing right there, middle of the fairway. I had a little choke sand wedge here the ball has been spinning a lot on these greens. Little amped on that swing, little long, but we are putting. Landed that a bit too far, unfortunately, but we are putting for bird. Lengthy putt here for birdie. Let's just put a good roll on it. Well, that was an awesome read right there. Still a few feet left for our par. Tapped it in, moving on, on to number five. Straight away par four here, iron off the tee, no reason to hit much more than this. It'll leave us a wedge in. Well, we found the fairway here, wedge into the green. Let's oh, put a good swing on it. Pulled it a little right. bit, but should be about pin high. This putt here is gonna be breaking to our right and can get a little quick down the hill. Let's go. Birdie here on five. Take a couple pin slammers early. Love to see it. Number six, par three. Fairly straightforward, but that pin tucked left is kind of a difficult hole location from playing this hole around 200 yards. You do not want to miss this left. Well, don't worry. We did not miss that left. That is way out to the right. 
All right, so I ended up going with the six iron. That was flared a bit, but I think it was the right club. Good pace on that chip. Just kind of misread that a little bit. Broke a little more to the right than I was giving it credit for. All right, let's see if we can't save our par here. About six feet, roughly, and pretty much straight in from what I can mm. tell. Not what you're wanting to see after the birdie on five. Tap that in for our bogey. Let's just move on to hole seven. Really good par four here. Fairly straight tee shot, but does bend to the left. We're just gonna be kind of aiming at that big tree through the fairway. Good drive right there. Leaves us maybe a mid iron in. Well, that is what you call a very sloppy swing. We are, missed that green and got some work to do. Really good chip right there. Very happy with that one. Let's tap that in for the par. Head on number eight. Appreciate it. Number eight here is a par four, a shorter par four, bends to the left. You can hit driver and try to take it over that bunker on the left. I'm just gonna go with a four iron here, kind of straight down the middle of the fairway. That's all I need on this hole. All right, we are right in between clubs here. The greens are pretty soft, and I really shouldn't be on, swinging wind. hard at wedges right. with how soft the greens are. We're gonna go with the full gap wedge here, and hopefully it doesn't rip off the planet. That just spun off the planet. Well, pulled that a little bit, and guess what? I was correct. Well, this is a very, very lengthy putt here. Two putts from here would be phenomenal. Well, I am glad that I just took all the break out, hit the back of the cup. That was a huge was two putt. moving, but it fell in the bottom of the cup. In with par on eight. We are on to number nine. Let's see if we can get something going. I've got 187. Wind is helping. I am gonna go a full eight iron here. That is the swing we were looking for right there. Not sure if it stayed on, but hit it good. We've got a great eagle look right here. Love to roll this one in, get a little momentum going. Well, that was a solid putt right there. Can't complain. We'll tap that in for the bird. Another pin slammer. Number 10 here, par four down the hill. Can't really see the landing area if you're going with driver. And you know, I didn't come here to lay up. Uh, 84 yards into the wind. I'm gonna go with a little flighted sandwich so it doesn't spin a ton. That is the wedge shot we were looking for. Let's see if we can't roll that in. Take those all day long right there. Oh my goodness, that went all the way around. Let's go back to back pin slammers. Let's just keep this train going. We got 144 into the wind. Probably gonna go a smooth one of these guys right here. Turn to the other guy. Number 11, fairly short par three. Not much here. We pretty much can just go right at it, pitch and wedge in hand. Be good. Wow, that looked like it almost landed in the hole. Did spin back a little bit, but got another birdie look. Fairly flat putt here, breaking a little to our left. Let's just put a good roll on it. Are we seeing a trend here? Is the putter heating up? Let's go. Ew. Love to see that right there. Let's keep the rock rolling. Love seeing those birds trundle right on in. Let's go, we got par five up next. I'm talking real country right now, not sure why. Guess when you get on a, a little birdie run, that's what happens. Number 12 here, par five. This is a unique par five. Kind of a lot of trouble up there. It's playing into the wind. I'm gonna go ahead and go with driver. Stay out of that bunker. Favor that right side. We just don't wanna hit it into that bunker. All right should be just fine. 
We're just going to be laying it up here. This ball is way above my feet. No reason to get too aggressive here. It's still going to just leave us a wedge at. Normally don't come here to lay up, but that was such an awkward stance there. And it gets dicey up around this green if you don't hit a really good shot. So we did lay up there. Let's get nippy with this wedge here. I'm about 70 yards down the hill. Let's just throw a little mini dart in there. And that is what we're looking for. That is about a foot from what it looks like. Tapping this in for our fourth birdie in a row. I We might be going unconscious in this round here on the back nine. Love to see it. On a number 13, par four bends to the left. Just want to keep it right of that left bunker you see there, four iron in hand. Just about 100 yards left, got a wedge in hand. Let's knock it close. Pulled it just a little bit, but should right. be on a pretty good number. Gives us another good birdie look. There shouldn't be much in this putt right here. Let's just keep rolling the rock. Are you kidding me? Putter hasn't felt this good in a minute. Five birds in a row. Five birds in a row in a tournament has been a long time since that's happened. Let's head into number 14, par four. Got about 60 yards here. I'm gonna try to flight this low and hit that upslope just short of the pin, have it release over the top. From my angle, that almost went in and from the gallery over there to the left, sounded like it lipped out. Tapping it in, another pin slammer. Didn't slam Thank the you. pin, however, it was a pin slammer. I think that's six in a row. On a number 15, really good par four here. We want to hug that left side because you can run out of room down the right. Another wedge from the fairway. Let's just put a good swing on it. Be good. That ball from my angle looked like it almost flew in, spun back a little bit. So got another birdie look. Going right back up the hill here. Let's just keep rolling the if you rock. you had hit it, if you had hit and it. And oh. it falls seven in a row. That ties my record in tournament play for most birdies I've ever had in a row. Fun fact, this was the exact stretch many years ago on this course where I had seven birdies in a row, nine through 15 here at Greystone. I must really like this golf course. I am right in between clubs. Gonna go with the eight iron here. Oh, fly that bunker. Fly that bunker. And we just got away with one. That was our worst swing that we have had on this entire back nine. I'm gonna go with a nine iron here. This rock wall is kind of in the way here. Honestly, just getting that ball onto the green was a success. Would have loved to have seen that go in. However, minimize the damage. Bogey, six under on today's round, two to play. Number 17 here, par five, dog leg left, going with driver. Man, that pains me so much. It's only 202. Be really mad at myself if I went for this. So we are just gonna lay it up. That is too far above the feet. Too many bad things could have happened right there. That was, that was the play. Let's keep these good wedge swings going right here. See if we can't throw a little dart in. Good tempo there, good swing. Just a little past the hole. This putt's gonna be breaking to our right. And not the best stroke that I've had today. Tap it in for our par. The final hole, six under par. We should be in great shape to qualify if we can just find the fairway, find the green here. 191 up the hill, should just be a full seven iron. Probably my best mid to long iron swing of the day right there. And that was not a good putt right there. I felt like it was gonna break and then I just 
pulled it. So tap in for our par. However, still very happy with today's round. Enjoyed it, guys. Thanks, it was a Jeff. pleasure. It was great to meet you. you great too. playing with great you. Great playing, dude. Appreciate it. Well, that was fun. We are going to be playing in the state open here next week. Very excited about it. Seven birdies in a row, nine through 15. That was a fun stretch and then just kind of played uh, one over after that to the house, 66. But that's where the game has felt. I just haven't been shooting those scores. So definitely excited about playing in the state open. We have qualified. That is it. As for me, Greystone State Open next week. We'll see you when we see you. Peace.